Welcome to this presentation of the Dewey Hardik. My name is Marco Schoener and I'm going to talk about the Dewey Hardik, which is a tool uh, intended for Microsoft SQL Server to create data warehouses faster and better. My company is called IntoBI and you can find us on the web at this address blog.intobi.com. Okay, let's go into the Dewey Hardik. This is the main application screen. Uh, let's first connect to the server, which is my own laptop. And then <coughs> we're going to create a new data warehouse. Um, we're going to call it demo. And I'm going to push create the screen. It shows the progress, you can see. Uh, a demo database is created, a staging database is created, a data fault database is created, and a data market database is created. And furthermore, several tables, views, or procedures, and other things in the demo database, which is sort of a metadata database. Okay, cancel. Let's see in SQL Server how this. This is the management studio. Put it to the screen. And I'm going to refresh. And here are the databases we just created. Okay. Back to the Deviatic. <coughs> Before we can uh, import uh, any source data, we have to create a business area. That's the first thing we're going to do. And let's call it sales. And uh, now we're going to cre create a new data source. I'm going to use the Northwind database as an import source. And push create. And all tables and columns, metadata and profile information is imported into the metadata. And several other things defaults are created. Okay, ready? Click cancel. Let's see the source. This is the source. Several tables. So the first table is categories. <coughs> In this part of the screen you see the table information, profile and metadata base. There are eight rows in categories. <coughs> and there's one primary relation. Okay, let's move over to the columns over here. You see here all kinds of profile and metadata information. Some defaults we made uh, to import in the database. Here are the sources relating to uh, data faults. And here you can find information regarding the data mode. Uh, let's make some minor changes. <laughs> category, for instance, is just the surrogate key. And it's not always the right uh, business key. Uh, let's make category names, which also has eight distinct values, uh, to be our business key. Click here and uncheck this button. Ah, category ID. Refresh. And here you see we have primary key is still the category ID, category name is business key and description and picture. Picture isn't important, I imported, you can click this mark to import it, but by default we don't import any images into the data warehouse. Okay, let's have a look at some other tables. This one for instance. That's only no rows, so let's skip that table. Do the same for customer demographics. And if you click here, you see there will not be important. Okay, based on this information, you can create a model. This is what we're going to do. And for this, we're going to, to model and push generate. It's going to create a staging area, the 
data fault, the hubs, the satellites, links, and in the data mark dimensions effects. And if he's ready, you also see them here. Staging tables, data fault tables, data mark tables. Uh, back to our categories is here. The definition, the SQL definition to create this staging table. SQL definition to create a view, <coughs> which is used to import the data. And an ETL procedure which uses this view to import data into the data warehouse. Okay, this goes for all these tables. Hubs, for instance, has only three columns and two related satellite tables, which also have a bunch of columns. And here you see the definition for this satellite. Okay, when we're done with this, we can publish it. And that means that all these statements will be executed against the server. So publish it. And here we go, all the tables, the views in the right order, and at last the ETL store procedure. Okay, just a quick check in the SQL Server database. Here we have the demo staging area, and you will find the tables here. The views over here and the procedures in here. And the same applies for the default and the data mart area. Now back to our data parents pick model. Once we have published this model, we can run it and then the, all the store procedure will be executed. So run. Importing the staging area, the hubs, satellites of the hubs are imported. And link tables, satellites of link, data marks, and effect tables all run and imported into the data warehouse. Now, if we go to categories uh, and click on run history, you can see we have a row over here with eight rows inserted, no rows deleted. And the same applies for the category search. Here we have a run instrument, an RDD of 12, eight rows inserted. And now we go to SQL Server and open this data fold. we see the same ID coming back. So there's an audit trail between the audit ID and the tables, so you can always check back where uh, and when it was created. In the demo database you find several tables, including the audit table. And if I open that one, you will find this number 12 over here. Eight rows inserted on 2018 January. Well, that's about it. This is the first introduction to the Debian deck. Um, thank you for listening. Um,